okay so rabia uh, okay so let us start uh, the new topic so that yeah rabia could also can understand so the next topic is that uh, what is the difference in the circuit uh, makes uh, the dielectric so whenever we add the dielectric what is the difference that it makes so before we do that let us okay so we have three cases right and uh, we have to uh, we already know that whenever we combine whenever we combine some capacitor right to a circuit of a battery b so this battery will keep the voltage of this capacitor same so whenever the switch is connected then voltage will be constant so this is the idea so we have a single capacitor and the switch is connected so whenever the switch is connected then voltage will remain constant right and uh, whenever the switch is disconnected so this is uh, the switch and it is uh, disconnected then what will happen is that charge will remain constant so this is uh, the basic idea okay that we have to keep in mind is this part uh, clear uh, guys is this clear yes sir okay so whenever circuit is connected voltage is constant whenever circuit is disconnected charge is constant so on the basis of this we have three conditions three scenarios so first scenario right first case is that battery is uh, so no dielectric and uh, battery is connected so we have a capacitor right and it has some voltage let's say v and uh, let's say what is the capacitance of uh, this capacitor so what would be the capacitance of this capacitor parallel plate capacitor yeah that is a e epsilon q by b absolutely right so that is q by b which is a e epsilon on by b so this let's say that uh, this is not changing because area is constant d is constant so this is c not right this is not changing so this is a uh, same okay and uh, we know that battery is connected so v would be v not that is also constant or same okay and uh, the other is uh, what is charge so we know that charge is uh, what charge is what in terms of c and v what is charge so as you say daisha that is q by v so q is what q is c right yes so this is a uh, c into v so that is c not into v not which is q not so that is also c okay and then the fourth one is the uh, electric field electric field is uh, what for parallel plate capacitor what is the electric field yes what was the potential that we calculated for the parallel plate capacitor in terms of electric field if you remember aisha the period which was 
I am asking that uh, we had uh, we had a parallel plate capacitor, and then it had some uh, separation D and uh, electric field E and voltage V. So what was the relation of these three in parallel plate capacitor? Yes. This is the very first thing that we learned, uh, Aisha. Yeah, so we would be, that's it, that is what you say. Yes. Okay, so which means that E would be V by D. Right, so in here also this is V by D, which is E naught by D, which is E naught. So this is again same. Right, and the fifth one is the energy. Right, so energy stored in the capacitor is how much? Half and uh, cp square which is half c naught and uh, v naught square so this is v naught so this is also same okay is this part uh, clear guys yes rabia so this is uh, Okay, so in CBSC class, we have already done this part, capacitance, uh, potential, charge, electric field, and uh, energy store. So, okay, so you have to revise all this. Right, Rabia? Yes, sir. Okay, so now the next scenario is that, the second case is that, so we saw that nothing has changed. Everything is uh, constant. Now, the second case is that, Second case is that we have placed, so a dielectric is placed. A dielectric is uh, placed between the capacitor and battery is connected. Okay, so we have a capacitor and uh, this is uh, some voltage and uh, this has some charge, but some dielectric is placed between the capacitor with some dielectric constant K. Okay, and this has potential. So, battery is connected. What is constant, uh, guys? Yes, battery is connected. What is constant? V. V is constant. So, V is a constant. Okay, good. Now, what is uh, the new capacitor? If dielectric is placed, what is the capacitor? Yes, Aisha. We have placed and it is fully filled, not partially, it is fully filled. So, what is the capacitor? Yeah, so K if silent mod K by D. This is what you say. Okay, so good. So, and we know that A E F silent naught by D is what? That is C naught and times K. So, we see that K is greater than 1. So, this would be in K. Is this part uh, clear? Aisha and Rabia? Yes. Okay, and uh, then second thing is voltage. So what is the voltage? This is constant. 
right because battery is connected now let us calculate uh, the charge so charge is uh, what q is cv so this is c into v c is c not k and v is v not so c into v not into k which is q not into k so this is increased or decreased Yes, increased or decreased, uh, guys. Q naught times k. Initially, it was Q naught. Now it has become Q naught times k. So it is decreased or increased? Increased. Increased, right? So increased. Why? Because this is greater than 1. This is not smaller value. This is greater than 1. So this is good. Now, the fourth thing is electric field. So electric field is V0 uh, by D. V0 is constant and separation is not changing. So this is again false. This is and uh, the fifth one is the energy energy is half c v square so this is half c is uh, how much c not k and uh, v is v not square so half c not v not square that is u not into k so it is increased who got uh, disconnected Rabia got this connected. So is this increased or decreased? Yes, Aisha. Right. So this is so this is uh, these are the cases for the battery disconnected and dielectric state. So you please note down note down the cases. Okay, and if you have any doubt, so please start from here. Right, please start from here and then uh, please note down other things. And uh, whenever you want me to scroll down the screen, you please tell me. It is
Yeah, whenever you have noted down or whenever you want me to scroll down, please tell me. Whenever you uh, have completed noting down, please tell me. And if you have any doubt, uh, you can also ask. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so the next case is that next case is dielectric is a place and battery disconnect. Right, so we have a capacitor and a battery is disconnected. Okay, so then uh, what are the, so we know that Q is constant, right? So first case, what would be the capacitance? If a dielectric is placed, What is the capacitance? Yeah, you have just uh, told me the answer. Yes. What would be the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor if dielectric is uh, placed? You just told me the answer, right, Aisha? Are you saying something? Because uh, you just told me the answer, right? Whenever we place the okay. right, yeah. Uh, what are you saying? This is uh, right. 
so then it is again c not a k so increased or decreased so can you hear me now yeah what are you saying no, i was speaking but i think i you didn't hear me oh i was uh, i was not uh, able to hear you all yeah so i guess maybe maybe there was some connection no, it's increased my voice is breaking what are you saying i said it's increased decrease ah oh, yeah oh increase yes increase okay so now rabia has come yes Yes, uh, hello, Rabia. Can you hear me? The only her uh, microphone is not good. Yeah, now. Yes, uh, Rabia. Can you hear me? Hello, yes, Rabia. sir. Okay, so you got uh, disconnected. So please take the screenshot of these two cases. Right, you understood about these two cases. So please uh, take the screenshot. Done, sir. And uh, this one. These are the two cases. Now we are talking about the third case. Take in the screenshot. Yes, sir. So now let us talk about the third. So we have we have battery disconnected, which means that charge is constant, and uh, dielectric is placed between the parallel plate capacitor. So whenever dielectric is placed, the capacitance becomes uh, multiplied by this K factor, dielectric constant factor. So this is increased, right? Now, uh, what would be the voltage? But before we do, we calculate the voltage, let me talk about charge. So what would be charge? Yes. What would be charge? Aisha and Rabia. What was the basic idea? I guess uh, Aisha, you were saying something, but uh, I cannot hear. Okay. So again, your mic is uh, yes. What would be charge, guys? So battery is disconnected. So charge would be constant, right? Same. Okay. Now charge is same. Capacitance has become C naught K. So, what is uh, voltage? Voltage is C is uh, Q by V. So, V is Q by C. Right. So, this is Q by C. So, Q is Q naught. C is C naught K. So, this is uh, V naught by K. So this is increased or decreased? Yeah, this is increased or decreased? Yes, what did you say, Aisha? Decreased. Yeah, your voice is uh, breaking somehow. What did you say, Aisha? So we are dividing by K factor. K is greater than one. So it will uh, decrease or increase? Decrease, right, uh, right, Aisha. So this will decrease. Right, let's say if you have three and uh, you divide it by two. So initially it is three and now it has become 1.5. So this has decreased. Whenever you divide greater than one, so whenever, whenever you divide by a number which is greater than one, so this whole factor decreases. So this is the decrease. Now the fourth thing electric field. 
which is v by d so v is v naught by k and then d so v naught by d is v naught by d so this is uh, v naught by k so this is increased or decreased or same decreased. yes decreased so again it is uh, Rabi, I did you understand? Yes, Rabi, I did you understand? No, sir. Okay, so now you guys tell me about energies too. You guys calculate uh, the energy stored and tell me will it be same, increase, or decrease? So you guys calculate and uh, tell. Is calculated, guys, and uh, tell me what are you getting? Uh, decreased. Decreased. Yeah, by how much factor? Yes, correct answer, Raisha. So, by how much factor? Let's say U naught. So, decreased by how? Decreased is the correct answer. By how much, Aisha? And uh, Rabia, what are you getting? Or uh, no clue? Yes, Rabia. Yeah, uh, Aisha, did you get uh, the factor? With what factor it will be? I guess you are saying something, but uh, your mind is not working properly. Okay, my voice is lagging. What is happening with my voice? Is my voice lagging, Aisha? No, sir. Yes. No. Okay, so there is a problem with your internet, Rabia, right? Okay, so let me let me uh, let me show this to you guys. So we have what is uh, the energy stored? Please tell me what is the energy stored? Half C V square. Half C V square. Absolutely right. This is half C V square, which is half. And uh, C is how much? C is C naught K. And uh, what is B? B is B naught by K. So this is how much? Half C naught K and then B naught square by K square. So this is cancelled and we have half C naught V naught square. So that is U naught by K. So this is decreased by this factor, right? By one by k factor. Okay, so when I was doing this, oh, so this is half q. Okay, Aisha, please uh, correct me. So this would be half q, right? Because, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, because uh, this is c is uh, q by b, right? So half into Q by V into V square. So V square, V square cancels, so half Q. This would be correct, right? Okay, so. Yeah.
yeah please uh, you guys note it down and then if you have any doubts so please uh, tell me rabia any doubt yes rabia do you have any doubt in this uh, part in the third case if you have any doubt please tell me then i can discuss it again okay no doubt so you guys please note it down and then we we'll do some questions oh join now bye yes uh, hello faz yes sir oh so you are yeah you are here for the maths class yeah actually i got yesterday this link i think i need to call yeah yeah you you need to call and and ask yeah. ask about the the call stuff okay yes, yes sir how are you how are you faz yes sir i'm good yeah please uh, yeah please uh, ask about the class. Yes, sir. Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Okay, so yeah, whenever you guys have noted it down. noted uh, rabia what about you okay noted so now let us do one question and uh, yeah so uh and cause a capacitor is uh, filled with a dielectric material and uh, it is holding a charge of let's say 4 uh, micro coulomb with with uh, the plate area plate area a which is uh, let's say 100 cm square and the separation separation between plates is 1 mm right and uh, it is connected to a 120 volt supply right so the question is that find the dielectric constant of the material 
okay so we have we have a uh, two parallel plates right and uh, the area is given right the area is given and uh, the separation between these two plates is also given and it is connected to a fixed uh, voltage supply right and uh, it is holding a charge uh, let's say 4 micro then you guys have to figure out what is the what is the uh, dielectric constant of the field. so this you have to figure out okay guys so who got uh, this connection so did you guys understand the problem? So yes. Q, Q is given, right? This is uh, four micro coulomb, and uh, area is also given, 100 centimeter square. And uh, D separation is given one millimeter, and voltage is also given, which is 150. So this is connected. What is a constant, guys? What is constant? Yes. Battery is connected, which means what is constant? Voltage is constant. Voltage is constant, right? So now you have to figure out what is the value of k. So please uh, calculate and remember we have to write it in SI unit. All these things we have to write it in SI. So please calculate and uh, tell me what is the value that you guys are getting. Please calculate. So let me give you guys a, a hint that it is the second case. So this is the second case, and uh, you have to uh, use the third uh, formula so that much i can help Yeah, whenever you guys get any answer, please say.
Yeah, and you get uh, the answer, guys. Aisha and Rabi, if you guys uh, get any answer. So, 11.2 uh, blocks, 11.2 and uh, right, okay, so Aisha is getting 11.2, and Rabia, what about you? Yes. Okay, so today is the first day of your class, right? So we should not uh, trouble you with uh, questions. So today, right? Okay, so today, let's not ask, ask the question. Okay, so this is four micro cooler. Micro is ten to the power of minus six. So this is ten to the power of minus six cooler. and uh, hundred centimeter square. Centimeter into centimeter. So 100 and centimeter is what? One by 100 meter. Then one by 100 meters. So this cancels and we have, we have uh, 10 to the power minus two meters square. So this is area. Now this is one mm, which is 10 to the power minus three meter. So these are the things in SI units, right? We have all the things and uh, we know that, we know that uh, C is A, E, epsilon naught and K by D, okay? And we also know that uh, Q is C, V, right? So using this, Q is uh, A, E, epsilon naught K by D into so k would be how much? This is k would be q into d divided by a e epsilon naught into d. So this would be uh, dielectric constant. Right, guys? Clear? Okay. So now we already know that uh, q is four into 10 to the power minus six. D is uh, 10 to the power minus three meter. A is, uh, A is how much? A is 10 to the power minus two. This is 10 to the power minus two. And what is the value of epsilon naught? Yes, what is the value of epsilon naught guys? 8.85 into the 10 to the power minus yeah. 12. Good, so 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12. And then we have B, which is 120. So this is uh, 30. So let us write uh, the numbers in one side. So one by 8.85 into let me write it as 3 into 10. So this is uh, 3 into 10. So this is 3. Now this is 10 to the power 1, right? So this is 10 to the power minus 9 divided by 10 to the power minus 2 minus 12 is 14 and 14 and uh, plus 1. So minus 30, right? So this would be one by 8.85 into three, and then 10 to the power, how much? Minus nine plus 30, so four. Then uh, what is uh, this value? So how much is this value? 
8.85 into so this is 26.55 1 divided by 26.55 so this is 0 0.0376 0 0.0376 into 10 to the power 2. So this is how much? 3.76 into 10 to the power 2, right? This is our case. So Aisha, where did you uh, make the mistake? Yes. Which part? <laughs> The epsilon value up. so I think that's fine. Okay, please. Yes. So you guys please uh, note down and any doubt in this question, guys. This was a direct question, right? So any doubt in this question? Okay, there's no doubt. Then please uh, note down this question as well as the answer. So please uh, note it down, guys. Right? Yeah, whenever you guys want me to scroll down the screen, guys, I tell. Whenever you guys have noted it down, please tell.
Rabia, what about you? Noted, uh, Rabia. Yes, sir. Okay, so now let us do another problem. Right. We have. Okay, but before we do this problem, let me ask you a question, guys. Let's say that you have a string and uh, some pendulum, or let's say some mass is there, uh, right? So what you do is that you bring uh, this mass at uh, this point, and then you release uh, this mass, right? So it will go here, and then right? so this will move like this. So can you guys, can you guys tell me that uh, what is the time period of this oscillation of this simple pendulum? Yes. What is the time period of uh, the simple pen? That is you guys did in the dimensional analysis. So what is the time period, guys? I don't remember what was something to pi. Yeah, pi, yes. Pi root L by G. Right. Is that uh, clear? Yes. Okay. So now what happens is that this uh, pendulum is uh, only acting in the presence of uh, the gravity. There is no force acting on this uh, mass. No other force, right? So only force which is acting on this object is uh, gravity, right? Clear? Yes. So, but uh, whenever, whenever you have a different kind of force, right? Let's say you have, uh, this is gravity, and let's say so this is uh, gravity. And let's say you have other kinds of force as well. So let's say you are applying some force in this direction as well. Then uh, the time period would be 2 pi and uh, root L by some G effective. And uh, there is a method to calculate uh, G effective. We calculate the resultant force and then we calculate uh, this G effective. Okay. So this is uh, this question is based on this property. So let us understand uh, the question. The question is that we have a simple pendulum, right? But where it is placed? It is placed uh, inside. So we have this uh, parallel plate capacitor, right? And uh, this is positive and uh, this is negative and uh, this is earth right so uh what is uh, so this uh, simple pendulum is uh, having, right so this is length l and it is experiencing a gravitational force in the downward direction now uh can you guys can you guys tell me that what other force it is experiencing and it has a charge uh, q so this has a charge q what other force it is uh, experiencing yes So, what is the other force that this uh, charge? So, let's say this is a Q Coulomb charge. Force. Yes, what did you say? Coulomb force. Charge. Yeah, Coulomb force, uh, you say. Yes. Yeah, so that is uh, exactly, uh, not, e, not exactly Coulomb force, but force 
in the presence of in the presence of electric right so let's say you have uh, this electric field and then you put some charge in this right so then you will feel uh, a force right so this is not exactly a coulomb force because coulomb force act between two charges right but uh, this is a charge placed in some electric field right similar case here so we have a charge q which is which is placed inside uh, this parallel field capacitor so if you guys uh, remember this is a parallel plate so there are three regions one two and uh, three so what is the electric field in this region aisha if you remember what is the electric field yes yeah so you have a parallel plate capacitor right it has positive charge in this side and a negative charge in this side so you have three regions one region in this is inside the plate the other is the other two regions are outside the plate so i am asking that uh, what is the electric field inside or outside the region in this first region what is the electric field? Sigma by epsilon naught. Okay, so uh, let me tell you that this is zero. This is zero, and only inside we have the electric field. So this I have discussed uh, already. This is sigma by epsilon naught, and uh, this I have discussed uh, already. So Okay, let me take you again. So we have, if I ask you that, let's say this is a positive plate. So thin sheet. What is the electric field of this thin sheet? Obviously, this is coming outside, coming outside of this sheet. But what is the electric field of the sheet? Remember or forgot? This is sigma by two epsilon naught. Sigma by two epsilon naught. In this direction, in this direction. And if I have a negative plate, then what is the direction of electric field? Outside or inwards? Outward or inwards? Not outside or inward, but. Uh, Away or uh, income? So, yeah, so income. So this is going away. So for minus, the electric field lines are income. Right. And uh, magnitude is same. Sigma by 2 epsilon naught. So this you guys already know, right? Right? So I have uh, discussed it already, but uh, you guys have forgotten. Now I have, now I have what? I have this uh, positive plate, right? And then this negative plate. So these two plates are there. So I was seeing that we have three regions. Due to the positive plate, due to the positive plate, the electric field would be going away. In this region, going away. In this region, right, sigma by 2 epsilon naught, sigma by 2 epsilon naught, and going away in this region. So, due to this plate, away, away, away. Right? 
right guys yeah. and uh, for the case of the for the case of this negative so in this region this would be income this is sigma by epsilon this is income sigma by epsilon this is income sigma by epsilon so in which part it is cancelling and in which in which region it is adding up yes in which region it is cancelling out and in which region it is uh, adding up aisha and rabia so from figure you can clearly see that right which uh, region aisha okay. Yeah. So in second region, what is happening? Adding up or cancelling out? Cancel. Cancel. You see that both are same direction. I hat and I hat. So they are adding, right? Yeah. So sigma by two epsilon naught plus sigma by two epsilon naught. So this is sigma by epsilon naught. So this part is adding, and we have electric field in this region, right? In this direction. So this part is adding, and you can see that this is in this direction. This is in this direction. So cancelling out. This in this direction and going away, incoming going away, both cancelling out. so for the parallel plate capacitor outside region the electric field cancel out zero inside we have electric field clear aisha and rabia clear so yes. this is, yeah this we have done so many time you guys please start revise right tomorrow you guys have uh, a revision test so okay so now as i was saying that we have an electric field right inside which is going in this direction so we have a uniform electric field correct so we have this external electric field and this charge is placed so what is the force qe correct guys so uh we have let me draw this here so we have a parallel plate capacitor right with a positive charge and a negative charge and this is grounded and uh, it has some electric field right so this is e and uh, some pendulum is hang right so this has mg force and uh, in this direction it has qe is this part uh, clear guys yes sir so the question is that we have to find out the time period time period of the oscillation so this is uh, going in this direction and then going in that in this direction so we have to find out uh, what is the time period. get of the oscillation right at which time it is coming back to its initial position so we know that t is 2 pi and a root and now this is g effective so we have to figure out what is this g effect 
right so we know that the force is mg and uh, this is qe so resultant would be what this would be the resultant f net so f net would be magnitude of f net would be root of mg square and then qe square is this part clear why did i write uh, root of mg square plus qe square is this part clear vector sum okay so let me let me say this let me say this so we have two vectors right we have two vectors let's say this is a and this is b so by the parallelogram law we know that uh, the resultant would be if we make the parallelogram so this would be the resultant right and uh, the angle between the vector is theta so the resultant magnitude is a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta clear yeah so if theta is 90 because these these two vectors these two vectors this is uh, let's say mg or fe or qe and this is mg obviously the direction is opposite but these are perfect so let me write it as okay so theta is how much Ninety. So a square plus b square plus two ab cos of ninety. Cos ninety is zero, so this cancel. So resultant magnitude would be how much? F net would be root of mg square a square plus b square. Now is this uh, clear? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, now uh, we know that uh, what is from Newton's second law, what is F net? F net is mass into G effective or acceleration, right? Correct, guys. Mm -hmm. So this is a root of mg square, right, plus qe square. And this is m. So what I do is that I take m square outside. So this is m square, and then this is g square plus q e by m square. Okay, and then this is m. So m square is taken outside of root. So this is m, and then this is g square plus q e by m square this is m so m m cancels and uh, this is a which is g effective so g effective i will get uh, g square plus q e by m whole square so this is the g effect is this part uh, clear Is this clear, uh, everybody? Rabi and Aisha. Yes. So time period is what? Two pi root of L by G effect. So this is two pi root of L divided by root of G square plus Q E by M whole square and power. So this is the time. If you guys have any doubt, please ask me as well. Otherwise, uh, please. So if electric field is zero, if electric field is zero, how much uh, if E is zero, then I will get back uh, T is two pi root L by G. 
right so due to this external electric field you have this uh, g effect is this part clear guys yes yeah. okay so please uh, note down this part okay this part uh, is from here you guys uh, please And if you guys have any doubt, uh, please ask. What was the question? So this was just for the under understanding purposes. This was the question. So please uh, note down. Done. Done. Rabia, what about you? Are we? Did you note it down? Please uh, complete this part and uh, tell me if you have complete. Yeah. Rabia, what about you? Yes, Rabia, note it. Now the next topic is heat dissipated heat dissipated in charging. Or capacitor. 
right so what do we have we have an uncharged capacitor right and uh, this is uncharged so right so uh, can you guys give me an example of uh, a capacitor that you have seen in your daily life yeah so you guys have saw uh, you guys have seen that capacitor can you guys tell me one example of a capacitor that you have seen yes yes Fan. Fan. Did you say fan? Yes. If you have said fan, then that is uh, absolutely correct answer. Because uh, in fan, you have seen uh, that is called condenser, right? Yeah, good, good, good. So in fan, to increase the speed of the fan, they use a condenser or a capacitor, right? So generally, they use 2.5 microfarad capacitor, right? So uh, in uh, so when you plug that capacitor to the circuit, and then you just connect uh, those uh, two points, then you'll see some uh, spark, right? So that is what happens when you plug that capacitor to, to the circuit. So the capacitor gets charged, right? So now in this case, the capacitor is uh, uncharged. This is uncharged. So what is the uh, charge on this capacitor? Yeah. What is the charge on this capacitor? So this is uncharged. So what is the what is the capacity? What is the charge on this capacitor? Are you saying something? Uh, yes, Aisha and Rabia. So this is okay. Maybe your mic is not working properly. Okay. So this is uncharged, meaning that this is zero, right? This is uncharged. Okay, now we connect a voltage supply. So this capacitor gets charged, right? So let's say that this is a Q charge, right? This is Q final. Okay, and the voltage supply that we have, uh, the voltage that we have supplied is P. So Q final is something, and we'll discuss this in the next class. Okay, guys. So, yeah, we should stop at here and uh, we'll discuss this in the next. Okay, and you guys, please uh, start revising. Okay? Yes. Okay, so Allah Hafiz, guys, and uh, see you in the next class. Okay, all, the best you, all the best for tomorrow, tomorrow revision test. All the best.